This is a before picture of my hair before I did any toning at all. It's not terrible, but it is definitely a little too brassy, too orange when I go out in the sun. I'm just going to try to tone that down a little bit. I usually find that I have to tone my hair probably about every two or so months in order to keep it from getting brassy. Products I like to use on my hair to tone it are from Wella. Normally I use Wella Color Charm T18 or I use sometimes T28, but today I didn't have enough of either of them, so I mixed half and half basically of Wella Color Charm T18 with T28. And you you always use a one to two ratio of toner to developer. So the developer I'm using is from Sally's and it's a 20% solution. I am filling up my measuring cup with some of the T18 and some of the T28 and then I'm going to add two cupfuls of the developer to that and that just still doesn't seem to do the trick. What I also like to do is add to that Wella Color Charm 050. That really seems to help a lot with trying to get the orange and brassiness, especially out of darker hair. I find I only need to add approximately a half of the measuring cup full of the Wella 050. And then you do the same thing with the ratios. I'm going to take a half a cup of the 050 and add to that a full measuring cup of the developer. And then I'm just going to mix it all together very professionally with a plastic fork. <laughs> of course, because I'm not a professional, guys. I'm not a hairdresser. This is how I do my hair. I'm not telling anybody else to do it this way. It just works for me. But I mix it all up, and now it's time to apply it to my hair. This is not rocket science. It is super easy to do this. I am just showing everyone how I personally do it because I do have questions about it. Now all I'm doing is using a plastic glove to protect my hands and adding the mixture all over my hair. I put it everywhere, make sure all the hair is entirely covered. I even take a wide tooth comb and gently comb through my hair to make sure I get that toner into all the nooks and crannies. And because my hair is dark and brassy, it seems to require a little bit of time to develop. So I always leave my developer on for about 30 minutes. Here's the final look. It has really cooled down all that orange brassiness that I had in my hair. It's not crazy dramatic, but it really did make a big difference when it comes to how my hair looks in person and in the sunlight. And I do this approximately every two months. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye from Marla.